Yesterday, the Bengals made Nick Scott their brand new safety available. And we have some of his uh, comments, correct, Casey McAllister? Yeah, I just uh, compiled some of his some of his better moments in his media day presser and thought everyone should take a listen to this. All right, well, let's hear it from Nick Scott, the newest Cincinnati Bengals starting safety. One of the first ones being the need for a safety, right? That's a no-brainer. I uh, wanted to be somewhere where I felt like I was wanted. Another huge factor, um, just coming out here on this visit and getting a chance to meet Coach Lou and Coach Rob and, you know, just talk ball with them. You know, I'm super excited about what those guys can – can do um, their scheme and everything like that and how they see me fitting into it. You know, that being said, they got a great group of DBs here as well, a group that's really tight knit. Those guys have already got my number and reached out and made me feel welcome. You know, and then the, the other side of that is the family aspect. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so it's not too far from my family. You know, and I think most importantly that this team has a real shot at winning a championship. Yeah, you know, just being a guy that can kind of, you know, move around in the back and you know, have eyes on everything and, you know, try to just read the quarterback and react and play like that. Um, you know, be a guy that can make calls for the DBs and get everybody in the right positions. Um, so I'm excited. What was it like talking to Louie Arumo when you guys first met? What did you like about him? Uh, I just I just like, one, his personality. He's a real cool guy. Um, you know, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to find a balance of somebody who's you know, a cool guy, sociable, but also like a, a wizard in terms of football, as, as as I think some people put it. So, you know, he's got a nice balance where he can hold a conversation, doesn't always have to talk ball. But, you know, when he does start talking ball, you really want to listen and hone in because, you know, he's got a lot of experience and he, he clearly knows what he's what he's doing, what he's talking about. I, I'll say one of the things that just feels great already about this organization is the amount of players that have already reached out to me. Um, tracked my number down, um, did all that stuff, reached out, <laughs> congratulated me, and, you know, expressed their excitement to play ball with me, which, you know, that just makes me feel welcome. It makes me feel comfortable. Um, and it's going to make it easier to really come in and just get to work. I'm going to try to earn it every day, right, um, other than just being a guy who's been in the league for a while. Um, you know, I'm just going to try to go out there and earn my, my players and coaches' trust um, and earn their respect. And, you know, if they see me as a – as a person that they would like to have to be a leader, then, you know, I'll, I'll gladly fulfill that role. But I just want to fit in um, wherever they see fit, however the coaches see fit and, and the locker room sees fit um, and contribute that way. All right, a couple of thoughts uh, on this young man. First of all, I mean, how incredibly articulate is that guy? You can tell he's a smart kid. Let's start with that. Pennsylvania kid, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, went on to Penn State. He talked about going out and proving it every single day. Okay, now you talk about a guy that's had to prove it every single day. He went to this whole high-profile program in Penn State, right? He was a seventh-round draft choice. There were 242 players chosen ahead of Scott in 2019. In 19 and 20, he's a backup guy. 21, he's a backup guy. And then all of a sudden that year, you may remember Jordan Fuller, Okay, once they got to the end of the regular season two years ago, Fuller gets hurt. So now Scott is asked, beginning with the playoffs, to take over as a starter in the Rams' Super Bowl run. He had an interception in the win over Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. He started in the Super Bowl against the Bengals. Uh, and then last year became a full-time starter for the first time in his fourth season year in the league. So this guy understands and knows what it takes to have to earn it. He had a career high 86 tackles. He had two picks last year, forced a couple of fumbles and 16 starts. He's only 27. So the Bengals feel like they're getting not only a younger player than Von Bell. Uh, I don't think anybody thinks today that Scott is Von Bell, but he's younger. He's more athletic. Uh, his body is not taken the toll, although Bell is only one year older than Scott. Bell's been around forever. He's only 28. Uh, but his body is a younger than 28-year-old Von Bell. That's for sure. So I tell you, that's an impressive young man right there. I would agree with that, Tom. Um, go ahead. Casey, give me the overall read on Nick Scott. 
I think he's a, like I said before, I think the signing was a very good value signing. I think what he brings to the ta table could be very high. He's a very high ceiling sort of player, right? His relative athletic score, very, very high, and up in the 90 percentile. What does that mean? So he, he grades the 90th percent, uh, top 90th percentile in all athletes ever recorded in the draft or pro day. What? And so does Dax. They, we got Bo both. Jackson? No. <laughs> no. That, Dion! That doesn't, that doesn't always mean that it translates, it translates on the field. Okay. I mean, it, a lot of it has to do with the mental part of it as well. And got it. that goes for a lot of athletes. But as of right now... What they've done is gotten much more athletic in the backfield. Guys that can go high, guys that can play in the box, and they don't have to. They don't have to do as much to disguise what the safety's job is on a specific play because of this. And yes, I was on the train for a rap. I thought he filled in Von Bell's role better just from a more he, he played the box a lot more he, he played that style more more but physical style more physical style he's bigger but the fact now that they can play either guy in the box or high or or however they, they see fit that is what Lou loves to do that is something that Lou cherishes in players you can see throughout the draft how he views just if you look at the defensive line he never chooses a guy or he hasn't as of right now a guy that's over 315 or under 280 he picks those guys that are in between that can play on the outside if they want to or they can play on the inside guys that are versatile in this defense are what Lou cherishes and to me, he had a choice between Taylor Rapp and Nick Scott. And he wanted Nick Scott over Taylor Rapp. So, in my mind, great signing because that's the guy that they wanted. They had a choice between the two of them. And they're going in a direction where they can fill either role, which is pretty much what the Bengals need right now. So then they can save up and different areas well uh we're gonna ask brian billick um a number of questions uh coming up at 11 o'clock and one of them would be you know as a former super bowl winning head coach you look at the way the bengals and what they've done so far in this offseason okay they've addressed the offensive line they've done a great job there they've now addressed the safety situation done it we'll, we'll see how that plays out uh it's a big year for dax hill i mean you drafted this guy right for a reason to be a big time player and a starter, this is his chance. He's not done it so far, but he hasn't been given a legitimate chance so far. We're going to ask him about, you know, all right, what about now? What about now? If, if Ryan Billick ran the team, right, um, you got to do something about the tight end spot. Okay, is that in the draft? Or can you find another Hayden Hurst? Like they brought in Moreau the other day, left without a deal. Um, do you, you know, what do you think happens with the running back room? P. Ryan's gone. Mixon more than likely staring down the barrel at a pay cut. And if he doesn't want that, he's gone. Uh, where, do, where can you fill those two spots in particular best in the draft or in free agency? Tight end, running back.